I did the mother thing, I did the wife thing, yeah, all that. <laughs> I can't stop saying that shit. Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Damn, my voice, this is the first time I'm talking this morning, so it's a little... It's a little rice bees giving a little Beyonce. No, I'm literally gassing myself. But before we get into the video, make sure you like and you subscribe so you can come back and see more because you already don't want to. Anywho, um, and it's actually Wednesday. I'm starting this vlog kind of late in the week. I'm actually getting ready to go to a new gym because if you guys have watched my past vlogs, you know I had actually signed up for a membership at Athlete Gym, which I actually like the gym because it's like great for content. It's great lighting. The only thing that I don't like, for one, they don't have locker rooms. Like I don't like putting myself in just a cubby. It's more of like a warehouse feeling. And I don't mind the warehouse. I just don't like the inconvenience of not having like a locker or having somewhere to change or having somewhere to just like take progress pictures for one. And then also it's 20 minutes away. That's far, okay? And second of all, or third of all, I think, yeah. The parking there sucks. I got my car towed like the third time I had visited there. So I had to pay $300 to get my car. And then I go to LA Fitness as well because LA Fitness is like a 10 minute drive from my house. So, but with LA Fitness, I just hate that it's so crowded. Like the way that my LA Fitness is set up where there's like squat racks and then like free weights, it's just like so compressed and there's always so many people. It's just, it's just ghetto. It's giving me really ghetto. And I just don't like the lighting in there either. Like there's no natural light. But um, that was a very long rant as to why I'm going to Equinox. It's only five minutes away. Um, the lighting in there, from what I can see, looks great. Like, literally the whole building is like floor to ceiling windows. So I'm already knowing it's gonna be amazing. Just for my mental health, as well as content, the vibe in there is giving me luxury. Like, it's giving me, Monique, you have no excuse to go get content, get your workout in, and enjoy it. So that's a whole rant as to why. I'm going to Equinox this morning. I have an appointment. So we gonna see. Where's my, oh, there's my juice. Um, Y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna drink my juice. It's carrot, apple, and lime. I didn't have any ginger. That's usually what I put in it. And I got these cute, look how little it is, mason jar from Target. They're so cute. So I just filled like two of them up so I can have juice for two days. I'm gonna eat a banana. And I'm really excited. We're gonna see how Equinox is, if I like the vibe and if I feel like it's worth my coin, you know? Cause that's a lot of money to spend on a gym when Planet Fitness is $10. But I refuse, I'm sorry. Like aesthetics is everything to me and I can't. I'm not looking at purple and yellow. I'm just, I'm not doing it, nope. I completely understand why y'all do it cause it's $10 and it has the equipment that you need. But like, no, I just, I can't do it. I will let you guys know how Equinox is i'm not sure if i'm gonna record any like footage i plan on working out today but in terms of like when they're touring and stuff i probably won't record because it'll be a little weird and um look at these edges y'all i got my hair straightened last week houston will not let me be great but we're gonna get some products to try to style it today as well so We'll see. So I just got finished with my workout. No, I did not show anything because I ended up signing up for Equinox and I just felt like I needed to get accustomed to the gym where everything was. It was just a longer workout because I wasn't used to it. But y'all, this gym gives me luxury. It gives me, this is what I deserve. This is what I want to look at. Like, look at these locker rooms, y'all. What? Girl, they have Kiehl's products in the shower. And if you know, baby you know okay my workout was great i did back and biceps and a little bit of cardio today when i'm getting used to like a new gym i just don't go as hard because i'm like focused on where the hell everything is but um yeah y'all this gym she's expensive it's like 180 dollars a month but what i love about it is that it comes with yoga classes for free i'm canceling my other memberships today yeah this is what i wore i just have these are lululemon gymshark and then <laughs> of um air maxes but body body yada yada come on whoa stop playing with me i invested in my body bitch i'm done up mm. hey 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 anyways i have to go to sephora to get some hair products so let's do that 
So, I just got home and I'm out the shower. And I'm about to do my hair. I went to Sephora. I didn't bring you guys because I literally was like in there for a minute, like literally. And I got the Moroccan Oil Heat Defense or Perfect Defense. It's just a heat protector and it's supposed to be like good for shine. <sighs> you guys know I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to manage my hair when it's straight um, in Houston, <laughs> for one, for the humidity, and then also just in terms of like my lifestyle of going to the gym and sweating on my hairline. I don't really sweat out my roots, to be honest. Like you guys can see, like my roots are flat. It's just here that starts to get curly, like my hairline when I sweat. Yeah, it's also kind of a little oily. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. I might just use this here because you still want sheen, you know, like the base of your hair, but at the top of your hair, I'll probably use dry shampoo. I've only went over it once since I got this. I got it straightened a week ago. It's not like I'm putting heat every day on my hair because I don't go somewhere every day. But I'm filming today a Zara haul, so that will be up by the time you guys see this. But um. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? What the hell? I look like um, one of the people on the Whoville. I love how these products smell. Oh my god. It was like one of my... Mm. It was my first like higher end product that I purchased was like the deep repair mask. Oh my god. When I was in like sophomore year of high school i remember i was like searching everywhere in seattle for it like mom can you please take me to the salon because they sell it like literally just going into the salon not getting my hair done just to purchase at the deep conditioner because every curly hair girl was using it on youtube back then so i don't know why i decided to tell you guys that but i did i probably shouldn't spray this on every little section i'm gonna have bigger sections but i just wanted to do like the nape of my neck really quick. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna go over every piece. I'm just going over like the places that are clearly sweated out. And then I'm gonna kinda like style it as well. I don't like wearing my hair like pinned straight. I don't know, it just, I like some type of like body or curl. I'm just gonna do this and see how my hair Ends up turning out. Well, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. So here she is now that I like straightened my edges and kind of like my roots a little bit. I'm just gonna spray some of this in like the ends. I put some dry shampoo in already as well. We're gonna put some little wavy waves in it and see how she turns out. Hopefully she looks good. My damn straightener was even hot. Like what? I had it on level 10 out of like level 30. It's not gonna do nothing. I just like want the blow dried look, you know what I mean? But we'll see if we can do her. And then I'm also gonna like wrap my hair afterwards, you know? You'll just see what it looks like afterwards. Okay y'all, so I finished my makeup. I really, I don't, like my lashes right now like ew i just hate wearing false lashes now and i won't get my 
um, lashes done until like two weeks. So my lash check was really booked, so I had to find another one, but whatever. I wrap my hair and we're gonna, we're gonna unwrap her. Kind of like, I decided to do, you know, what they do at the salon. So we'll see how she um, turned out. She'll do, okay. I'll keep the hope, keep the hope, keep the hope, keep the hope. <laughs> Let me put some oil on my hand, just a little bit. I'm just gonna use the Moroccan oil. I got a little sample. It was like their little um, birthday thing for the year, you know? I can never do it how the salons do, huh? Damn, this side looks so much better than this side. What the fuck? Wow, that's pretty annoying. Oh, Lord. I think because the flick of my wrist you yeah, is better on this side, you know? I mean, I did the mother thing, I did the wife thing, yeah, all that. <laughs> I can't stop saying that shit. She's kind of giving. It's just like, this side is just a little bit more judged than the other. But like, you see what I mean? It looks hell of a lot better than what it looked like earlier this morning and prior to me starting, so. Whatever. It is what it is, you know? It doesn't look bad. I'll, I'll just try to like finish it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm literally about to start filming. Here is all my clothes. Look how much color. Like, wow. Monique, who are you? Like, I have so much color in my haul. Like, I'm, I'm so proud of myself. This is, my edges are like a little bit, I don't know, girl, this natural hair shit is for the birds. So I'm gonna like finesse my hair a little bit. Maybe put a little bit more heat to it. So one side matches the other, you know? My skin looks so good, like, I barely have any texture, just like a little bit. Yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna film. I don't know if I'm doing anything else today, but y'all will see if I do. Hey y'all, good afternoon. At stop sign, turn left onto Westheimer Road. Okay, girl, I'm gonna do it. It is a Thursday. Um, it's pretty late. It's like one o'clock and I'm just getting out of the house for the second time today. I woke up this morning for one. I had a terrible night's worth of sleep because are we gonna be able to go? Oh, this is so dangerous. Don't honk at me. God, I hate people in Texas. They like will literally honk at you within three seconds of you driving. I need to turn on the AC, it's a little hot up in here. So last night I got rudely awakened by the thunder and lightning. Like I had never heard thunder that loud in my life before. And it was like back to back. Like usually I've, had, I've experienced the storms here a couple times. But usually it would be like lightning, thunder, and then I'll wait like a couple minutes. But like, no, it was like lightning, thunder, lightning, thunder, like back to back to back. And it kept me up for like an hour at 2 a.m. in the morning. So I didn't go back to sleep till like 3. And you know when your sleep is interrupted, it's like you just don't feel well rested. So when my alarm went off this morning, I was like, girl, no, I'm not doing it. So now I'm about to go get some sweet green because I've been obsessed with that. I've been eating it for like the past couple months. Like whenever I want some food, I'm like, sweet green, let's get it. It's basically like a Chipotle, but healthier. Also, I keep waking up with bites like every day. Y'all, if I have motherfucking bug bite, bug, whatever they're called, bed bugs, I will like literally shave off my whole entire head and like lose my mind. Like I keep waking up with these bites and what's crazy is because I was like talking to my mom about it. I'm like, hey, I keep waking up with these bites. They feel like mosquito bites, they're like super big. They're like itchy. Like you can see how swollen it is there. Um, I have one here, I have one here. 
I had them on my back and they feel like mosquito bites. I saw a couple mosquitoes in my house. Like I literally killed one yesterday and I'm like, okay, well maybe it's like mosquitoes. That's what I'm thinking because I always sleep with my window open and I always sleep with like my sliding glass door just a little bit open because I like fresh air. Like even though it's humid and stuff outside, it's just the circulation of air. I just feel like when it's closed, everything is like stuffy or whatever. It's just my personal preference. So she was like, well, it's starting to, you know, get to warmer weather and the mosquitoes are probably coming to your house and biting you. And she's like, well, do you have bed bugs? Like, have you had anybody in your bed? And I'm like, no. Like, I wasn't even thinking of bed bugs until she literally said that. And then I damn near lost my mind. I'm like, mom, do not put that in my head because if I have bed bugs, I swear to God, what? I've never had that, never had to experience that. Girl, and I don't want to. I'm just like really stressed because if I have bed bugs, like how the hell do you get those? Like I'm such a cleanly person. Like that makes me feel disgusting. Like. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm going to call my maintenance. I don't even know how you find out if you have them because they're not like, you can't see them. They're so si tiny. Oh my God. I'm just like literally praying that it's mosquitoes because I've seen two in my house the past couple days and these feel like mosquito bites. And I want, how in here, look. Look how big these are, y'all. I'm like, how is, how is a little ass bed bug gonna do that? Look at this pimple that I have here. So yesterday I have figured out, I've come to the conclusion that whenever I wear my NARS Natural Radiant foundation, I break out like the next day, literally. So I need to get a new foundation because I can't, my skin has been relatively cleared like this entire week and like the week and a half. And I just can't be fucking that up by using foundation that's breaking me out. At first I was like, hmm, maybe I'm just breaking out, but it's literally every time I wear it, it never fails. I wake up with a pimple. So I'm going to go to Sweet Green and I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm going to do about like this bug. I'm going to, okay, this is what my game plan. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to close my window in my room and see if I wake up with a bite tomorrow. And if I don't, mosquitoes. But if I do, I don't bug it out. So we'll see. But I'm going to go to Sweet Green. I'm like literally starving. And then I'm going to go to the gym and, um, yeah. So, see you guys at Sweet Green. I just got to Sweet Green, y'all. Look at this. Like, I already know what time it is. The storm is coming. Like, it's all sunny over here. I already know what it is. I already know what time it is. So, I need to get this food and get my ass home. Oh, my God. I ain't here. So, this is her. It's quinoa, chicken, almond. Um, I think, what are these called? Like, roasted. Oh, rust. I don't Girl, tomatoes and goat cheese and um like spinach and kale so good oh my god i'm obsessed i literally i figured out how to make it at home i just i was too lazy <laughs> oh can we appreciate the brows stop letting me but i'm gonna eat this with my maryland monroe pimple like what the fuck and um yeah, hopefully look at outside. I'm like praying it's not boring on my way home because my anxiety, the way my anxiety works, girl. Hey y'all, so I just got back from the gym. I literally thought I had my camera in my bag, but I didn't. So I didn't record, but I just went to go check my mail though. And I got a few packages. What time is it? It's 9.16, it's so late. I have not done a late workout in so long, but the reason being is because um, I took a nap when I got home and I haven't taken a nap in like a few weeks. Like it's been a hot ass minute since I took a nap, but it was raining after I ate sweet green and I was just tired from having just not a good night's sleep. I was asleep for a couple hours and girl, I felt so good when I woke up. I felt energized. I was like, wow, this is, this is what I was looking for. Anywho, I got this, a barbell pad. Actually, Equinox has barbell pads, so I didn't really even like need this. I guess I'll just keep it if I happen to go to the gym like in my apartment or something. But this one doesn't have like the strap. You see what I mean? To go right here. Instead, you have to like, wrap it around i should have paid attention a little bit closer to detail well i mean i guess it's actually that's not that bad actually i might prefer this because the one that already has like the little velcro velcro strap like right here 
Sometimes it be coming loose and it's not tight enough. And then it like slips. If you know, you know. So this might be a little bit more practical. So me not paying attention might have helped me out. But yeah, we'll bring her to the gym next time I have a leg day or a glute day and see how it goes. But what I'm really excited about, y'all, y'all, okay? Okay. So as a late birthday present, I bought myself a bag. Okay, this is like my first luxury bag. I was gonna do like a cute little unboxing, little reel, but I just don't think I'm that girl. I don't know. Is that how you pronounce it? Bitch, we gonna, we gonna look up how to pronounce it, okay? This is Julian, the Frenchman who makes French pronunciation videos here on YouTube, and we are looking at how to pronounce the name of famous French fashion designer born 1990 in the south of France in the beautiful okay. place, now established in Paris with his full name Simon Porte Jacquemus. But oh. the name of his fashion label oh. is simply Jacquemus. So how Jacquemus. 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 Okay, here we go. So, merci. You feel me? I got the Le Bambino. Bambino. This was $550. Jacquemus is just, I feel like it's it's still luxury, but it's like the more affordable luxury because the other bags that I want are really like um, $2,000, $3,000. And we're not there yet. So here she goes. Ooh, there she goes sliding down at Poe. Oh my God, she's so cute. Stop. Uh, this is so, stop. This is so cute. They have a bigger version, but I didn't want it. I just, I don't know. I was just like, mm, I want like a mini bag. Let me see if I can fit my phone. If I can fit my phone and my cards, like that's literally all I need. P -p 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 period, okay? I'm sorry, what? I have a Jacquemus. Ooh, ooh, stop. stop playing with me. Stop. Look how cute. Stop. By the way, if you guys are interested where my outfit is from, it's from my girl's Mikayla, um brand. I don't, I think this is sold out, but she has other versions of this, but yeah, she's so cute. Anyways, stop. Hello, yo, Jacquemus is calling me. I, I don't know how to act now that I got a fucking. I got a lit in this under day. I'm honestly debating on getting a Telfar, but I'm just like, I don't know, okay? Let me know if I'm tripping. The Telfars just give me cheap. Like, I'm so sorry. I think just there's so much hype behind it because it's like trendy. But when I look at the bag, I'm like, is that worth $150? It's literally just a plain leather bag with a label on it and, it, and it's like it's just like a tote like it, it's not like like this is a a designed bag do you see the shape of it you know the detail this this that and the third the little strap like this looks like it's worth money do you see what i mean but like the telfar bag because my friend leah she has it it's so flimsy it's just like i'm not paying 150 dollars for that i did order a, a brandon um blackwood bag and I'm waiting for that to come in. It's supposed to come in sometimes this month. But the one that I got, now that I look back at it, I'm like, why did I get that one? I don't really like it anymore. If I don't like it, girl, I will sell it and then just buy it his next drop. Cause I really like his bags. Like his bags look like, okay, this is a designer bag. Telfar just gives me, okay, I'm using this to put my groceries in. Especially the big ones, I, I can't, I don't like it. Like I've been on the fence about it for a very long time, but I've kind of just decided that I just, I'm not gonna purchase one. I don't think it's worth my money. Like I'd rather just put $150 towards a better bag, <laughs> period. So I guess this is just the strap. I'm not wearing this, girl, call me what you want, but I'm not wearing this as like a, a crossbody. A crossbody just takes the luxury from me. Like, I don't know. This is not a casual bag where I'm just wearing it on my uh, hip. Like, no, I'm not doing that. So <laughs> I have so much energy right now because I took a nap, but I'm about to film a reel for my dinner and take a shower and watch TV and probably edit a vlog and go to sleep. So I will hit you guys tomorrow. Guess who's here? I have a special guest. 
Okay, you guys have might have seen the infamous May motherfucking weather. Stop. Okay. Hi, but yeah, she flew here yesterday. We're about to go out. We're about to go get some food and um, go We're to the club. We look so good though, look. Bitches think like we want action, but they ain't action, but we ain't ducking no action. You already know the vibes. I don't know, I forgot what her name is, but I got this on IG. Um, I'm Shorty was selling it, and but it sold out. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, I got a mom. My booty. Glasses. Let me touch my booty. No, hey, booty. your glasses. Stop. <laughs> Yo, look at. Are you shitting me? Stop. Look, I just. Can you give me a little bit of your boob? Just a little bit. And place it on here. Fuck. Too bad. Take these. Wow. Take them. Her. Well, I'm wearing just white heels that I got from Boohoo not long ago. And I'm wearing my little Jacome, Jacomus. We learned how to pronounce it together. And I need some fire eyes pictures because, baby, <laughs> we not letting this go to waste, okay? The hair is done, the makeup is done, and we're not doing it again. Put that shit on. Who made that up? She put that shit on. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Let me put some perfume. Look at the fit. So fucking cute. I didn't know y'all did not know she was this small, like in terms of height. We never talked about it. I didn't know that you were like five two. Oh my god, you zipped this up more. But yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, let's go to dinner. Y'all, I can't. How do you I'm not big. She's experienced. What is that? This is horseradish. It's gonna really, gonna really kick things up. Sometimes we're gonna take a little bit of that and just. I forgot my camera. Really? I can't do raw. Oh, I hated things. I was like, what the fuck? It just the texture. I can't. I prefer it cooked. That was quick as fuck. Wow. Are they good? Are they good? Good morning, y'all. So last night we ended up going out to the club and that's pretty much it. We had dinner. I didn't bring my vlog camera, so I was on my Rican Dink ass phone. What'd you say? No, I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> Are you ready? I was born ready. Baby. You guys Top is Zara. Jeans are, I don't know how to say her name. Sam Samaria Leah. You know who that girl is? You mean Ella Kuday's daughter? Yeah. Ella <laughs> Kuday's daughter. I don't really like, I mean, the fit of them was okay, but they're not worth $150 because I feel like she doesn't accommodate call, tall girls. Because look at. How did she do No, she, that bitch, I don't know. Well, she didn't think of me. She didn't think of me when she made these. I was expecting them to like scrunch at the bottom, but they don't. So like, in terms of wearing this with tennis shoes, it's not gonna work because it would literally look stupid. Um, and then shoes are Zara, purse is Zara, so. And then I think we're gonna go to, um, like we're gonna go to like brunch, a brunch possibly. So we'll see where today takes us. Did you eat it? A little bit, not all of it. So I'm trying a macaron for the first time. I never in my life had one. And it's okay. It's an acquired taste, I guess. I never had You got a weird flavor though. You don't like the texture of it? I just don't understand what it's supposed to be. It's just like a, a soft, but kind of like hard pastry. Oh, okay. What did you think it was gonna be? Not sure. We got ice cream. We ate at a like a Asian restaurant, which was pretty good. It was just cold as hell in there. So cold. But it's so nice out today, y'all. Like, it didn't rain for the first time this whole week. Literally this it whole week, rain. it rained every fucking day. Yes, I go to this ice cream spot all the time. Yum, y'all. Look at my nail. It chipped while I was weight training. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. 